Hey everyone, so it is the middle of the night. Um, my mom is sleeping in the room next door, so I'm going to try and not be super loud. So I hope you can hear me well enough. But yeah, like I said, it's like almost 1 o'clock in the morning and I don't ever do videos at night. And I, I actually just got home, not just got home, a couple hours ago. But I got home from going to see On Your Feet, the Broadway musical about um, Gloria Stefan. It was amazing. It was awesome. So I guess today they finally finished wrapping up and filming all of the Shadowhunters episodes that are going to be in the next part of the season. Um, I believe they just, they wrapped everything up today. Um, Luke Baines, who is, as we all know, as we all know is our um, new, I guess not new, but like the guy who's going to be playing Jonathan. So I've never even seen the guy act. I don't even know what he's going to portray the character as, but I was just already so sad by seeing his post. And then just all like the pictures that everybody's been posting, especially I don't know why, but like especially with everything that Kat has has been posting, I just feel like so bad for her and so sad for her and like with her and I just want to give her a hug. And I actually wrote some thoughts down, can't even see that, so I'm just gonna like kind of read them so I don't have to think about it too much because I already kind of wrote them down. But basically, I'm just gonna read what I wrote during my lunch today. Um, Seeing all these posts of the actors saying goodbye and wrapping up made it more of a reality for me and I have actually, and I actually got really sad today. Um, it really reminded me of just how important this show is to me and now that it's gone, for now anyways, I, I it like hit home more like that they wrapped it up and that all the actors are like telling us thank you and saying all these things. And I also wrote that how I'm not even really bitter, I don't have like a bittersweet feeling right now. It's, or like anything nostalgic. I'm just kind of more like upset and angry about the situation and like mad about it because like there's there's nothing to really be bittersweet about it. Like it was canceled and it was taken away from us and there's nothing to be like sad but also kind of happy about like no it's just like a kind of crappy situation that it ended and then they had to rush the end and then I also wrote um we obviously haven't seen the rest of the episodes yet but they could have totally expanded the story um they could have finished the storyline in the books and continued with something like the theory that I had and if you've seen any of my videos in the past you would know um or not you would know but the theory that I have for like what they could have done was, um, spoiler alert for City of Heavenly Fire, just in case, but, um, you know how at the end of the book, Jonathan gets the demon devil, demon blood out of him, and he becomes his normal Jonathan self, the brother that Clary would have had, the son that Jocelyn would have had, and they get to speak with him for a couple moments, and I had always thought, like, since the show started, if they continued with that storyline, and was able to actually get Jonathan to stay, rather than having to act, like, officially kill him off that would be so interesting so that clary could have gained a brother especially since she already lost her mom and they could have potentially come up with a bigger bad for them to like go against and defeat in the story and i just think that would have been really cool and i also write um i also wrote um there this is such an amazing and diverse and very loving cast of really great wonderful human beings and they're just being taken away from us and it hurts me more personally um because of the fact that these characters have been in my life for over a decade i have been reading these i mean we all know that the show is based off the books and I also am one of the people who really adores the books but also really adores the shows. I embrace all the changes that they've made. I, you know, still love the original content but I also really love the show. I love the new creative aspects that they've added to it and I just really enjoy all these different parts to it. And it just makes me kind of sad because it's like we already, I, I was kind of talking about this in the, in the last video that I made but after this I don't I don't see why or how anybody would recreate the story again. Like, we got the movie, and that was that. <laughs> and then we got the show, but now that they're canceling the show, it's like, what now? No, like, there, another network isn't going to pick it up to create the entire show again, get a whole bunch of new character or actors to play the characters. Like, that's just not going to happen. And it upsets me because this is, like, one of my favorite... Um, stories. These characters really mean a lot to me. Um, I... You know, Harry Potter was like my childhood, but from the age 12, because like I finished Harry Potter, the last one came out when I was like 11. Um, and so the next best thing that I found was these books and 
from 12 years old to now that I'm 22, it's like I've grown up with these characters and Cassandra Clare is still writing books about these characters and about like this world and I'm still very much attached to it and it's like just being taken away. And I know that there's other people like me out there that have, you know, read the books and been with the books for a long time and have not, you know, hated the show. And it just, it sucks because it's like, I want to see these characters on screen so bad. I want to see the, just the monsters, the fight scenes, all of this stuff on screen so I can see it. And then I wrote, I'm like, this is such a good story with such good characters and I don't know why the universe is so adamant about keeping it from us. I'm still not giving up hope because when the show comes back next year and when I continue to make videos, I hope somebody some network somebody sees um with money <laughs> sees how strong and capable the show is and brings it back because of the love that the actors have for it and the writers and the producers and everybody involved but also us who really love the show and i really hope that when it comes back it gets a lot of views there good there's a lot of social media out there or there's a lot of buzz around the show so that somebody can be like hey this show isn't a lost cause. Let's pick it up and continue this train going. You know what I mean? But I just basically wanted to say, especially since today, how they were wrapping everything up, it just felt a little bit more real. But at the same time, they finished doing what they were doing and the show isn't even supposed to come back until next year. So we still have a little bit of time for something to happen, for some more negotiations to happen, for buzz to be created for when the show comes back. For us to, I will definitely be making videos when the show comes back and I will be adamant about doing them like within a day or two of them coming out because I want to show my support as much as possible. Um, I want to be one of the people that creates the buzz about the show and who hopefully is able to show how much it means to us and because I, I know it means a lot to me like not only the characters but how much like I really really love all of the actors who play their characters and I just and Kat and Emerald and Matt and just all of them I can't I love them a lot and I want to keep seeing them and I really hope that they also get a chance to come back to these characters that they all claim not that they all like claim, but they, they all say that they really love and I really do believe them. So I hope for their sake, for our sake as an audience, that we are able to continue with the show on some network. I don't know. Somebody, anybody, pick it up. <laughs> um, Netflix. But um, I guess not Netflix, whatever. But um, yeah, I just don't want to see it go. And I don't, like, I wouldn't have been mad if they ended it maybe a season or two from now, but at least give it the respect of giving it a proper ending. Like, all of the things that they're going to put in these last few episodes, the last half of a season, couldn't, didn't have to be crammed into one half of a season. Like, there was so much content there, and there were so many things that they could have put in between certain events that happened that could have lasted over a season. And it's just... The, the rushing of it, may, and I have no doubt that the writers and everybody involved is going to do a great job in doing what they can with what time they had, but I just, there was more than half a season's worth of content, and I just really wish that we were able to see that through, and, you know, I mean, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, um, I have work in about nine hours, and I need to go to bed, wipe my face off, but I just wanted to say this really quick, um, hopefully I'll edit and post this right now but yeah if you have any comments leave them down below feel free to share this video however which way you would like not like I'm really saying anything too intense or anything but I just wanted to share a few extra things especially since today they were um wrapping up everything and I feel like a lot of other fans were feeling a little bit maybe overwhelmed and sad so I'm here to share that burden with you and tell you not to be sad. Um, I will continue to hold out hope until next year when the show comes back. I will continue to hold out hope for maybe like a week or a month after the last show airs because maybe it'll be finished and then somebody will pick it up. So I am still hopeful for at least another year and then we shall see what happens. I do not believe this fight is over or else like it just feels weird. It feels like we're in like some weird limbo, right? I don't know. Those are just my midnight thoughts my 13 minute video midnight thoughts about this whole situation continued on um so yeah let me know what you think down in the comments um and all that good stuff but yeah thank you all so much for watching 
and I will see you, well, whenever I make another video on this channel, but for sure, when the show comes back next year, I will see you then.